Hi, this is Josh from Brown Dog Gadgets, and today I'm going to show you how to take a LEGO BB-8 model and turn it into an automated project using an Arduino and a few extra parts. The LEGO BB-8 kit is a really awesome LEGO model. Although it looks quite simple, there's actually quite a bit of complicated gearing on the inside. By default, it's set to have the head swivel back and forth. There's also this nice little head wobble that happens thanks to some rubber bands on the inside. We can use all this to our advantage to break the gearing out and let us control it via a servo and an Arduino through crazy circuits. Overall, the electronics needed for this project are fairly easy and inexpensive. Controlling everything is one of our Crazy Circuits robotics boards. We'll be automating the LEGO BB-8 thanks to this laser cut adapter we have to go from LEGO Technic to a standard servo. We picked up a ultrasonic rangefinder as well as a small MP3 player module off Amazon for about $10 total, working that up to a small set of speakers we've had for ages. To get the glowing effect off his eye, we're using some conductive nylon tape, one of our Crazy Circuits battery holders, as well as one of three LEDs, of which any variety would have worked for this project, but we're going to go with the brick-shaped LED for the end result. In general, you need quite a few random LEGO Technic pieces, nothing too fancy, except for these parts right here. We picked up a couple pieces off BrickOwl.com to put together a small worm gear box. The worm gear is necessary to give us a high amount of torque so that we can accurately and easily move the BB-8 around. You might be able to get away without doing this, but we just took the precaution of putting together the worm gear to make sure BB-8 could move. This means a slow movement, but a guaranteed movement and a fairly easy to control movement. Once you have your LEGO BB-8 built, which we're assuming you do, use a LEGO prying tool to get the entire side off, the side with the gearing on it that you'd use for the motion. We accidentally pulled off the axle that controls the BB-8 along with the side. Just put it back on if this happens to you and make sure your head still wobbles. We have to securely put the BB-8 onto some sort of LEGO platform like the one we have here. So to do that we're going to remove all the small embellishments on the bottom of the BB-8 and then use a few other LEGO Technic pieces to basically go from one side of studs to another side of studs. Nothing too complicated, but you'll need a few 1x4 and 1x8 LEGO Technic pieces. Use your fingers and the LEGO Pry tool to get off all the smooth embellishments on the bottom. You just want to have the orange and the white flat areas left. Connect your 1x8 and 1x4 LEGO bricks together like so, so that the whites are upside down compared to the blacks. Because we're overly cautious, we ended up using two 1x4s with each of these setups, as opposed to the single one you see in this video, just to make sure things were extra secure. Attach each of the adapters like so along the bottom of your BB-8. Again, we used two 1x4s instead of just the single one shown in this video to be extra secure along the bottom. You'll then be attaching this to your large LEGO platform when you're finished so everything is nice and secure along the bottom. We also attached a 2x8 plate to the bottom of our 1x8 LEGO Technic piece to get a bit more surface area to make contact with our large LEGO base plate. And in this video you can actually see the two 1x4s that we're using in the end. So yeah, this is how we put it all together at the bottom, but whatever works for you and your setup. When putting your BB-8 onto the platform, make sure you have enough space in the back end to put all of your electronics and your gearing. You don't want to move this thing once it's down because it's quite annoying to get on and off as you probably just found out. Make sure everything is working with your BB-8 and then let's move on to some more fun with gears. We'll need a little bit of clearance between the BB-8 side 
and the large LEGO Technic gear we're using in order so that things don't run into each other. So we're going to use a large rod as well as a few spacers to make things easy and get things a little bit out away from the BB-8. Make sure things turn quite well and get all those pieces put together and give yourself, yeah, that little bit of space. Reattach the side of your BB-8 and make sure everything is nice and secure before moving on to adding the gearing. Use several spacers to give you the extra space you need. Play around with it depending on how your setup is, you may need more or less. We used a couple of bricks and a couple of plates to make a platform for our worm drive. Do whatever you need to do to get the right spacings and then get your worm driver right below that large gear. Throw an axle into the worm gear drive and make sure everything works. If it does work, be happy because this was actually the hardest part of the entire project. We've made some nice laser cut adapters to go from a standard 9G servo to a LEGO Technic format. If you have a laser cutter around, you can use our files off our website and make your own, otherwise you can grab them from crazycircuits.com, but it just is a really easy way to get servos into the LEGO system. Using a couple other LEGO Technic pieces and a LEGO Technic gear, we're able to complete our adapter and add a gear to the end of our servo. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works quite well. We're going to then directly hook this gear to the axle to move that worm gear drive. Simple and easy, and this continuous rotation servo is now 100% compatible with LEGO Technic. Using a couple other LEGO Technic pieces as well as a large brick, we can secure down that servo adapter. Everything is nice and secure on the LEGO plate, and when the servo spins, the axle will spin and the BB-8's head will turn. In lieu of a button, we're using this ultrasonic rangefinder to activate the BB-8. But since it's not really LEGO compatible, we had to build this fun little adapter that I actually found off Google Image Search. It's a 2x8 plate along with some 1x2 bricks to make this nice little housing for it. It pops right in and it fits in decently secure, it won't fall out, but easy enough that we can take it on and off again if we need to. To secure down the Crazy Circuits Robotics board, we're going to need a couple of 1x8 plates, and we just grabbed those and threw them on wherever on the back end so that we could hold down the Crazy Circuits part. Then all the other wires and whatnot can be attached to it later. Because the BB-8's head has to freely rotate, we can't attach wires from our Crazy Circuits Robotics board directly to the head to make it light up. It's just impossible. However, there is a lot of room on the inside of the BB-8 head that we can add a couple components and at least give it a little bit of a lighting effect. Getting the head apart can be a real pain in the rear, so use your LEGO prying tool to get everything off. The goal is to remove this large tower on the inside to give us some room to put a battery holder. We remove the holographic emitter section, yes that is the holographic emitter section, from his head and we're going to replace it with a blue LED. This is quite easy using another rod and a small 2x2 round LEGO Technic piece. We had three types of LEDs we could choose from, a 10mm diffused LED, a surface mount LED, and a 1x1 novelty brick LED. We went with a brick LED just to keep things all Lego-y in the entire project. However, any of them would have looked just fine in this project, and whatever floats your boat. Cut off a couple of long pieces of nylon conductive tape. Remove the backing and put them to the side. We're going to thread those through the little hole on the outside of the BB-8 head to connect with our battery holder. Thread one piece of tape on each side of the hole and that divider on the inside. While not the easiest thing to do, it is kind of helpful to have a pair of tweezers around to grab it on the back end. Mostly because you have to first pull the protective layer off the tape so they're kind of sticky as they go through. Using a screwdriver or a pencil or something else, put your tape down like this so that we can connect it to the battery holder once we put the battery holder in. Find a screwdriver helps just really nicely to push down the edges, but it depends on you. Once it's good to go, put a battery in your battery holder and press it down on the inside, making sure you have both a positive and negative terminal connected to that tape. Push your new LEGO setup in, and then connect one chunk of the tape to one side and one chunk of tape to the other side, so that when your LED connects, it'll turn on. 
and being a crazy circuits parts that conductive tape will make sure the PCB will stick on there nice and secure and will not fall off when it moves around. To turn this entire project off, just take the LED off. We're going to make it super simple, no switches, nothing crazy. Just take the LED on and off when you want to turn the light off. Rebuild your BB-8 head and place it on the body. One snag we found is that that rod that connects the body to the head is a bit too long and will push up through your battery holder and your light will turn off. To remedy this problem, just don't push the head in all the way. Just push the head in a little bit to the body with that rod and you'll be fine. Otherwise, you'll end up like we were and have to take everything apart again and get that battery holder back in place. At this point, your BB-8 is actually good to go if all you want to do is have its head turn and be activated by that rangefinder. If you want to just ditch the audio completely, you don't need to do anything else. Just hook up the rangefinder, throw the code on, and be happy. Using a few female-to-female -female jumper cables, we're able to hook up our wonderful little MP3 player module to our Arduino board. This is a really handy and very inexpensive module you can grab off Amazon. The nice part about it is it'll take any micro SD card and play whatever files are on there. It's also hooked directly to a headphone jack so you can play it off powered speakers or even headphones. It's cheap and easy, although the documentation from China is horrific. But there's a couple spots online you can find uh, write-ups from people who have deciphered it all and put together some example code for you. Instead of trying to decipher where all these wires go and have everything's hooked together, just look at the diagram we have in our write-up. You'll find a link below in the description. You'll also find a link to the code that we're using as well to trigger everything. It's pretty easy to modify. It's just running continuous rotation servo, activated by the motion sensor, and then triggering the MP3 player to work. But find all that, figure out how it works, and modify it for yourself, or use our example to do this project. So that's the entire project. It's essentially a modification of the LEGO X-Wing project we posted a few weeks ago. However, this was actually a lot easier to build thanks to the better gearing and better breakout that you can do with the LEGO BB-8. Overall, automating LEGO projects with Crazy Circuits components is pretty easy, especially with those wonderful little servos. I love taking Arduino projects and putting them into a LEGO format. A little more accessible, a little easier for people to understand, and a little bit more fun for building three-dimensional environments for your projects to be on. So we'd love to see if you have any projects of your own that you're making with Lego and Arduino or other components like that. But any questions you have, make a comment on this post or send us an email or visit our web forums. Again, we have a full write-up and diagram on our website. Go to crazycircuits.com and check it out, as well as getting some components if you need them. But otherwise, thanks for watching, and I hope you had a fun time learning how to build your own Lego BB-8.